iPad Pro 12.9 inches model 2020, the latest and the most powerful iPad. Um, let's see how it's video editing on this huge, huge screen. Here we can use either KinoMaster or iMovie, great apps, both of them with a lot, a lot of features, but I will recommend you, maybe I like it more, the KinoMaster because it has more elements on it. It's a paid app available on uh, Android and iOS and I like it. I use it for all my uh, projects. This is it. Uh, press the plus button here, select the ratio aspect 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 1 by 1. So 16 by 9 and now we can add media. Press the media button and we have access to all our files here. Uh, you can sort them by videos and photos. Let's add, for example, this video and this one. Press OK here and now we have more options as you can see here. Uh, you can scroll the videos like this, but if you have more videos, I'll advise you to apply a zoom on this working space and now you see they are smaller. You can navigate easy. If you want to work with frames, just do the zoom like this and as you can see the frames um, uh, you can work very easy with the frames here but if we apply the zoom like this you will scroll faster okay now we have more options we can either uh, add more media we can add audio files we can record audio files or we can record pictures or new movies by pressing this button button in the center um, also we have this button layers as you can see we can add over this video a new picture or movie a new effect a text sticker or handwriting something like this if we add a text let's say and uh, we write ipad pro We have this text here over the, the, the video. You can work with, uh, with this uh, layer. You can make it smaller or longer in time. If you press on it, we have um, some uh, settings for like animation, uh, in and out animation, rotate, trim and split, blending and so on. Also, if we press on a video file like this, let me do something like this to see them better. If we click on, on a video file like this, we have the options uh, to work with it. We have trim and split. We have trim to left, everything from here will disappear like this. Let's undo this. Um, we have trim to the right, everything from the right will disappear. We have split and split and inf insert free, uh, freezing uh, frame. Uh, you can work with pan and zoom, for example. What is this? Well, your video starts here, ends here. You see the marking points. The start position, you can set it like this and you have a preview here. In the end, the video will get here. Let me show you. It will start with this zoom that you applied and it will get here. Look, zoom and going back. But if we press this button and join these uh, sections, see, the the preview here is the same as here basically the video will stay like this maybe you want to to apply a zoom here for this section it will stay here very very simple let's go back you can work with the sound you can stop the sound select the, the intensity for example if you have another audio file here you can boost it, you have other options for uh, stereo sound and so on. Also, you have filters. Maybe you want 
something different for your video something like this uh, see how simple it is you can work with the speed for your video very simple you can reverse that video very few softwares offers something like this a reverse feature uh, also you can rotate or mirror uh, the image uh, in videos or photos you can add graphics uh, vignette equalizers equalizers uh, reverberation you can change the voice apply all kind of effects um, volume envelope something like this uh, adjustments these are these are very important because you can work with the brightness with the contrast vibrance saturation and so on um, this program it's complex this kinemaster it's complex and you get here on a tablet a software like on a powerful pc with a powerful software for video editing as you can see here and everything is simple you don't have to learn anything it's simple simple um, if you want to extract for example the audio file from this video file press extract audio and you have it here look this is your audio you have options now separate for your audio file and why it's so useful because maybe you want to remove this part from your video but you want to keep the sound let's say like this trim to the left and now your sound look it's available and you can put over the sound any video you like any image because maybe this image is not good and you want this one but you want to keep the sound just move this part here copy it and that's it very simple to copy a file by the way you have um, you have this button here duplicate and now we have two audio files in the same in the same way uh, you duplicate the, any other file uh, here it's the under button um, you have here options to capture and save a screenshot for example a video uh, you can capture and add as a layer here look how simple it is and this is the layer and you can work with it like this And of course, you have all kind of settings for that layer. Look here in this part. This, this software, it's super powerful and you can do a lot with it. For example, uh, these are the projects. Let me show you. Edit and now it's rendering, uh, it's rendering the files. Look. So very simple you will have all the projects here um, if you want to delete a project just press delete project and that's it uh, if you want to work again something like this if you want to export the file you have uh, this button here by the way a preview it's here this is the play and to export it like this you have export options in 4k up to 60 frames per second this is impressive for uh, for a tablet software and again you can use this software on your device either phone especially it's great on uh, phones with uh, s pens from samsung because with your finger it's it's a kind of awkward to to work on a smaller screen here on a tablet it's different so you can choose 4K, Full HD, HD. Uh, these are premium features, so you have to buy the app. Uh, when you export the file, I will advise you to increase the quality for that video. I always choose the maximum quality. See here, in uh, 4K, in uh, 1080p, the maximum bit rate, 32 megabytes. In 4K, 
in 4K you had you have 128 megabytes per second bitrate. If you decrease it, the quality is not so good for your video. And here you have an estimation for your file: two gigabytes. Look, one and probably two and a half here. Um, I'll advise you again to increase your quality because it will be crystal sharp. Press the export button and that's it. This is it. You will have your file. Again, I'll post another video with the iMovie because it's a great software. Uh, KineMaster, it's great. iMovie, it's great. I prefer uh, KineMaster because it has more options with this shop, with this, uh, uh, these effects, uh, fonts. Uh, it's my, my preferred. But iMovie, this is iMovie by the way, has also uh, a lot of uh, a lot of options. I will have another video uh, because it's uh, it's better in this way. Um, but hey, don't get me wrong. This is a super powerful tool. It does almost the same uh, stuff like uh, KineMaster. This is it. So. Um, iMovie and KineMaster here. This is it.